Welcome to I Remember When. I'm Jeff Dornbus, and I'll be your host. The first clip we're going to look at is from Greg and Jeff and Lifestyles of the Fresh and Uneducated Freshman Talent Night, September 4, 1987. Elton College, the center of the universe. A meeting spot for thousands of educated students seeking higher forms of knowledge. Nourished by the hand of the Commons Dining Hall, the students practice fine art, research, and languages. All of this conveniently located at the foot of Mount Nebo. Welcome to Lifestyles of the Fresh and Uneducated. Every year, thousands of college students come to Calvin to develop their leadership skills and abilities. With confidence, these students strive to master their destiny and to reach for the future with eager hands. And now to Robin for the inside story. The lovely resident assistant Jill Stedging from Second Timmer was our beautiful guide through the lush, top-of-the-line accommodations at Calvin. These dwellings combine traditional comfort with all American pizzazz. After seeing them, I don't know why. The sumptuous rooms come complete with flora and fauna, along with steel case furniture even Joan Collins would love. Joe graciously cleared a place for us to sit amidst the packing boxes used to import the priceless belongings of these prestigious student bodies. These rooms come complete with antique and priceless furniture from around the world. Ready-made lofts for relaxation. And state-of-the-art entertainment centers. All of this must have cost a fortune. And it's clear that board is the only thing you can't get in these fantasy suites. Jill pl proudly showed us the private baths, complete with stainless steel fixtures and a commode that any titable man would be proud to sail in. Anchors away! And so you can see, these glorious accommodations provide all the pampering that our covenant youth deserves. There's an air of elegance and romance is in the air. Thank you, Robin. Well, here we are, standing out in this nice grassy field here at Calvin College, and I'm going to talk to a few freshmen walking along the way to find out just exactly why did they come to Calvin College. Here comes one now. <laughs> Excuse me, son. Why did you come to Calvin? Um, I came for the academic excellence. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. So academic excellence at Calvin's a great school, I guess. Oh, and this young girl, uh, Candace. Yes. Uh, why did you come to Calvin? I came to Calvin to find a mate of the same denominational event. Well. Wow. <laughs> like, to pursue a career in cheerleading. What else is there? Well, my parents said it was either Calvin or Dory. So tell me, why did you come to Calvin College? Oh because I heard there's a new chapel here. I came to Calvin to live in the library. Live in the library. Well, that's great. Uh, do you have a floor yet that you'd like to live on? No. Mark Van Kirchen Fott, and I'm a commuter in a CRC. My name is Which Amy Van Ota. I'm 100% Dutch. I'm from Christian High in Grand Rapids. I've lived here all my life. I've never been out of the city. I'm Joel Young, and I'm a freshman here, and I like it. I'm Aaron Underwood, and I'm a freshman here, and I like it too. So you see, Calvin College is more than just an institution. It's a veritable plethora of feelings, of, of people, of emotions, of experiences. But most of all, it's a place of elegance, a place where our pampered Protestants can become educated. In style, of course. Yes. Oh, look, we have a student who has stepped astray by the Sempan. Should we, uh, should we go talk to him, rather? Oh, but of course. 
Excuse me, son. Where are you from? First piece. And uh, why did you come to Calvin? To surf the Sem. To surf the Sem. So what are you doing now? Hey, man, I'm sizing up some waves. <laughs> so there you have it. So with champagne wishes and caviar dreams, this is farewell from Calvin College. <laughs> I guess we have it right there. Um, Calvin is more than just Calvin College. It's a lot of other things put together. But there's still one question that needs to be answered. The freshman class is the biggest. But are they the best and the most talented? <laughs> well, Jeff, let's go find out. All right.